Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, I'm excited to be here joined with Mary Kuhn and Jenny Weaver. Um, this webinar is just a little bit different than what we have done in the past, but it is Mental Health Awareness Month. And so we wanted to provide you guys some resources and just a conversation around how that impacts your business in the beauty industry and how you can help your employees become more proactive about their health and the wellness that they have by giving them access to uh, the correct professionals um, that is giving them access to do that based off of their schedule and their terms. And that's through um, a company called Ally Health. So I have with us today, Mary Kuhn, who is a board certified health and wellness coach who saw the need for mental health counseling skyrocket during and after the pandemic. And she also witnessed her clients struggle um, to get access that was needed, affordable and timely uh, mental health services. So Mary, good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you so much. And good morning to everyone else. Uh, so thank you for that introduction. Uh, I'm with CUNITY, and CUNITY recently completed a, a large-scale study uh, with over 330 salon locations. One key finding in the area of employee benefits uh, is around this, huge need and desire for mental health benefits, but few con uh, companies actually offering any solutions at all. So my husband, Tom, recently learned about a company called Ally Health from a uh, former Aveda SCP. And Ally Health is a virtual care platform uh, offering mental health counseling, telemedicine, as well as other services. Um, based upon my coaching experience with mental health, the crisis level need for support and resources and Acunity's compensation findings, we quickly realized that Ally Health was an affordable and viable solution for the beauty industry. So fast forward, I have left the coaching world to help with a new division of Cunity, Benefits by Cunity, and we are very excited to be partnering with Ally Health and uh, very excited to bring this service at a special price to the beauty industry. Thanks, Mary. And then we also have Jenny Weaver here, and she's with Ally Health. And Jenny was introduced uh, to the beauty industry by her mother and has been in love with this industry ever since and has spent nearly a decade as a salon development partner. And then Jenny shifted her business consulting skills to employee benefits and is now with Ally Health, which is offering affordable ways for beauty professionals in our industry to access the mental and physical health care. So, Jenny, good morning, and thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you, Lori. I, I'm really excited to be here and I love partnering with Mary and the, the community team. Um, they've really brought so much value to the beauty industry and this is just another layer of that and it, it all comes together with um, with really supporting the, the financial aspects of, of the beauty industry in these salons and spas. So super, super honored to be here. Um, and uh, we ready to dive right in? I think we're ready. Perfect. All right, let me make sure I get this going right. Looking good, can we see my screen? Looks good. Fantastic. Uh, so we're gonna dive into this, my friends. And, and again, this is Mental Health Awareness Month, so I'm gonna be more focused on the mental health component of what we do and really how this has played a role, not only in the beauty industry, but in, in, in every industry, with every business and every individual. Mental health is hugely important, and this is just one of several solutions out there that can support you all in what you're doing with your employees and their families. So I just want to I want to be really clear that there's several options out there, but we um, our partnership is really uh, specific to support you all. So why why is all is the biggest part, right? So why virtual care for the beauty industry? And virtual care speaks to telemedicine, so virtual urgent care. It does speak to virtual mental health care, which will be the the key component for this presentation. Um, and some other options that are discount programs or different ways to get access to reduce costs for, um, for individuals and families. So why in the beauty industry? So we know in the beauty industry that traditional health care may be unaffordable. It is so difficult for small businesses to bring in a major medical plan because you deal with lack of participation. So only so many people are going to be on it. So it makes you it makes it unavailable anyway. Um, or maybe it's just unaffordable in general. So this is an option that you can use to still build something strong. 
This service is available to full-time, part-time, 1099s, benefit eligible, non-benefit eligible. So it really doesn't matter how you build your business out. This is a service that can still be brought in and available to your people. One membership is employee, household, and family coverage. So again, if and, and especially when we talked about mental health care, one out of every five US adults is struggling with a mental health concern. One out of every six adolescents in the United States is struggling with a mental health concern. So sometimes we just think about our, you know, our employees, but we really need to fast forward that to their significant others, their family, their children, because it's not just our employees that are struggling, it's everybody that's struggling. So our plan will venture out and, and support anybody that needs this. Telemedicine in general does help to redirect employee out of pocket for non-emergency needs. So um, the example I always like to give, so it's 2 a.m., sick kid, ear infection, everybody knows it's an ear infection. Instead of your employee getting up in the middle of the night, taking a sick, screaming kid to the emergency room and sitting there for four hours and probably missing work the next day, quite frankly, they can use this service, get a call back. In the middle of the night, it's usually about 30 minute call back time. Talk to a doctor, get a prescription, sent to a 24 hour pharmacy and onboard right away to help the sick kid. The same thing happens and there's no out of pocket for that, to be clear. Um, the same thing will happen if it's middle of the day and we have something going on that we need to take care of. Instead of taking time away from work to go sit two hours in urgent care, we can just use telemedicine and it's a very quick way to get access. Which brings me to the blue box in the middle. Virtual care supports reduction in absenteeism. So with a quick urgent care access with an average of nine minutes, as well as helping with absenteeism due to mental health needs. Um, and I'll get to a slide in a second to talk more about the lack of mental health care for in-person visits that, that we see throughout the country. Uh, so next slide, uh, or I'm sorry, next slide. Um, virtual talk therapy alleviates the burden of the owner. This may speak to many of you. It alleviates the burden of the owner or managers or leadership to counsel employees on emotional and mental health concerns. So the average um, time to get in touch with a therapist for an initial visit is seven business days. So let's talk a little bit more of that. We, we know, because, based on uh, testimonials and some feedback we've gotten from some of our, our current clients and partners, is that they have this huge weight off their shoulders because of instead of their employees coming to them, which has been common and often for whatever challenges they're facing, they have their employees redirected to this service and therefore the owner or the leadership or the manager can work on themselves and not be burdened. And we're, so many of us are empaths. So we're taking on way more um, emotional baggage than a lot of us can carry. So send them to another direction with experts, with people that are, are actually licensed and trained in this space. And then you can work on yourself or at least take a break from that. So huge, huge uh, support in that area. And lastly, of course, benefits like these, any benefits in general, support your recruitment package. So you're bringing on, you know, bigger, uh, key, sorry, top talent, key employees, and then keeping them longer with support of morale and productivity. So overall, we don't have all the solutions available in the beauty industry space, but this one absolutely fills a massive gap when it comes to that, that quick care for our, our people. Um, and I totally forgot, <laughs> we have a poll. So before I dive into the rest, let's do a little poll real quick. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and launch the poll and you'll be able to answer the question on your screen. Give about 30 seconds for everybody to answer and find the poll. The question is, do you know someone that could use mental health support? Give another 10 seconds. All right, 40% of our attendees weighed in, and of that 40%, all of them answered yes. 
they yeah. do need someone, they do know someone who is requiring mental health support. Absolutely. The second question, I'll go ahead and close that poll. And we've got another poll coming at you. If you answered yes to that last question, has the person been able to get the timely treatment they needed, need or needed? Another 10 seconds. All right, well, I don't know that this will be a surprise for you, Jenny. I'll go ahead and close the poll. Uh, the same percentage of, of our attendees voted, about 40% voted, and 100% of them who voted said no. Mm -hmm. The person they know was not able to receive the care they needed in a timely fashion. Absolutely. And thank you for running that. And and it's so important. I just I really want to keep this top of mind because access to care is incredibly difficult. So I'll I'll talk more about why that is um, in just a moment. So we again we have several solutions to support in this space. If we're talking specifically about building your benefits package and supporting your employees with access to care, supporting their families with access to care. These are the four pillars that we have at Ally Health. So we have that virtual urgent care, which is telemedicine. I'm gonna skip the integrated EAP for just a second. We have our mental health, which is true talk therapy. We're talking 45 clinical minutes of talk therapy where you can get continuation of care, talk to the same therapist every time. Uh, they're clinical social workers and psychologists. There's psychiatry available as well. There is a copay for that. There is no copay for the first 10 sessions of mental health care. Again, for, for a membership, which means member household independence. Psychiatry is available with a copay, but um, if someone needs medication or support with you know, anxiety, depression, what have you, that's available virtually as well. And then these two other pillars, the integrated EAP and health and wellness coaching, that's a third addition to our services that we just brought out recently because we know not everybody's ready to go right to mental health care. Not everybody's ready to dive in and go deep with a therapist and start talking about all their stuff. And that's okay. So an EAP or an employee assistance program, you may be more familiar with this and you may offer this currently. Ours is a little bit different and why we call it an integrated EAP is because it elevates the experience altogether. EAPs or employee assistance programs are designed for acute care. They have three sessions, standard practices, they have three sessions per situation, which means someone can call in, they can get a couple questions answered, they can be set off in the right direction, and maybe they just need help with caregiving, um, maybe for their kid or their elderly parent. Maybe they need um, financial or, or legal questions. Great, we can help with that. Maybe they do need something in the mental health component, but again, they didn't want to dive in or they didn't know where to start with mental health. They can start with EAP. If when they go to our integrated EAP and they have the conversation and maybe they need help with anxiety or depression or something that's more ongoing, this integrated EAP is integrated because it actually ref will refer that individual back into the app or back into the web portal to the mental health pillar so that they can get access to a therapist. And because they have 10 sessions that are included in their membership every year, they don't have to stay with the first therapist every time. They can actually try one, two, or three to make sure that they find the best one for them and the needs that they're looking to have met. So really, really seamless transition from one space to the other, just depending on what the person needs or what the expert on the other end thinks that might be best for them. Oops. So all of these things are embedded in your medical plan, absolutely. And we get this all the time. So yes, your, your major medical plans do have access to telemedicine, do have mental health care as, as one of the covered um, treatments, absolutely. But here's what we run into, specifically with mental health counseling. 25% of Americans have an untreated behavioral health condition. Or according to this poll, 
based on the people that you know who maybe were unable to get care or didn't get care for an extensively long time could be longer, right? Or more, more people anyway, it was 100% according to the poll. The average wait time nationally is 33 days to get with a counselor. And that's actually not even true. These stats were from early 2020. It's 60 to 90 days to get an initial visit with a counselor, with a, a psychologist or a clinical social worker. 50% of counties in the United States have no mental health professionals at all. So that means that somebody has to li literally take time off work because therapists typically only work maybe you know, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So you'll have to take time off work during regular business hours, drive maybe two hours to a different county to walk into the one psychologist who's taking patients. And a lot of people don't want to do that. They don't want to be seen parked out front they don't they can't take the time off work because people are working paycheck to paycheck or if it's for a child or a significant other it, the same burden is there and lastly and this speaks volumes especially to the the poll that we just did two-thirds of all people with a diagnosable mental illness do not seek treatment so again don't seek treatment because it's too difficult to get access to a therapist don't seek treatment because they don't know how much it costs or they think it's expensive don't seek treatment because they're they're afraid to share. It's hugely vulnerable to to share in in mental health in um, counseling. Absolutely, but we have to do the hard work to get the help. So um, these stats are staggering, and they are especially the 33 days is definitely 60 to 90 days. It's it's devastating. So this kind of this aligns with the poll too, right? So how many employees are in your company? My guess is you have anywhere from, you know, three, maybe you're small, to we have plenty of, of groups out there and businesses out there that are 50, 70, and maybe you're multi-location, maybe you're up into the hundreds. So multiply that number by 20%. And again, this just speaks to the, the one in five adults in the United States who need mental health support, right? One in five. I already talked about the EAP. I think that's it. So last but not least, um, how does Ally Health make an impact? So we really focus, because there, there are other options out there and, and every virtual care service does things a little bit differently. Our business model is actually designed for utilization, which means we want people to use this service for telemedicine, for mental health care, for the EAP, we want to give people access to care and reduce the, the, any barrier that they have to get there. So we really heighten our communication with our members where we're uh, sending initial emails with a welcome kit. We have ongoing drip campaigns via email and text message. We have engagement throughout the year. We have newsletters throughout the year because again, we, we increase that utilization. Most, if you have, uh, any virtual care service through your major medical plan, it's probably less than 1% utilization because it's not talked about. Um, there is typically a copay there and, and it does take up of, of quite a few steps to get into it. And then there's other plans similar to ours out there on the market too that, that do things similar, but maybe they're not as hands-on with the approach. So our average utilization is 50% across our entire book of business. Um, which is significant. So you're, because you're getting people, all of your employees and their families are reminded on a regular basis that they have access to this, instead of going to the emergency room or into urgent care, that they can get on the phone, use their app, use the website or call in, and they can get access to treatment right away. Sooner the better is hugely important, not only for the impact of your business, again, to help reduce absenteeism and increase morale and productivity, but important for your people as well because they need to make money and this is the service industry. So all that being said, your contact is with Mrs. Mary Kuhn over at Cunity. Um, so please contact her. I think we have a QR code that we're gonna pop up here in a second too. So Mary is, the, is our partner with Cunity um, and she will help you with any other questions you have to dive in deeper to your particular business, your business model, 
and provide any other resources you might need, including quotes and, and those types of things. So please reach out to her and you can visit their website at communityinc.com slash employee benefits. Awesome. Thanks, Jenny. I Absolutely. think that the point of it, you know, one of your boxes was on helping it to be a benefit to the employer to help with their recruiting strategy. And that's another, you know, area in our industry right now that is deeply affected that everybody is really struggling to find, you know, new service providers in their salons. And so I think by adding that as a benefit to what they get is, is a huge help for that. Um, and then you talked a little bit about who it would be good for, what type of salon company. So booth renting companies, independent company, um, as well as employee-based companies. Is it, do you see that it's more greatly utilized in one or the other, or it's just anybody can access this? Okay, and then with, with say it's a booth renting, a booth rental salon, are the salon owners paying for this for all of their renters? Do they ask their renters to contribute in by any way, or how do, how do you see that working? Yeah, that's a great question. So 90% of our, of our clients at Ally Health um, deliver this benefit as an employer paid option. So it's typically W-2 businesses, W-2 salons and spas um, that are, this is an employee benefit, it's provided to everybody. And that's really the, the best practice that we speak to because you never know when you're gonna need something like this. Like, yeah, you can say all day long that, oh, I never get sick, but things happen. So we, we recommend that it's blanketed as, employee, as an employee benefit across the board. When it comes to the 1099 space, um, we do have a, a separate option and we everything that we built out isn't designed for this necessarily, but we absolutely can roll this out as a voluntary benefit so that it can be made available, but then each individual will um, enroll with a, it's basically a paycheck deduction um, through the business. So we, we can cross that bridge later as sort of a one-off, but most of the time it's it's a paid employee benefit. Okay. And then what about for an independent? Because this could be a, a better or a different option for them if they were, if they didn't have any health benefits on their own or through their family or whatnot. Is this something that an independent could enroll themselves into? So a couple options there. One, yes, um, there there's an option to do that. And you can do that through Mary too. Um, the other option is contact PBA. PBA now offers our service as part of their business of one membership. So you can access it there. So if you're not, if you are a PBA member, your upgrade will include this. And if you're not a PBA member, check it out. Awesome, that's awesome, thank you very much. Um, is it confidential? So can, do the employees have to worry about their employer, their bosses finding out what services they're using, anything like that? Is it totally confidential for them? Absolutely confidential. Yep, HIPAA regulations don't allow us to do any reporting for for businesses under 50 employees. Um, over 50 employees, we can just get generally like how many people are doing this, how many people are doing that, but it is 100% confidential. Okay, great. Um, and then the, another question is, uh, I, I only have a few employees. Is there a minimum participation in the plan? I think we kind of answered that, but I you can go ahead and answer that again. Yep, we need three. Three employees, so you and two others to at least get the, the group rates that CUNITY is offering. Okay, awesome. Um, and then is the program available for individual and booth and suite renters? Yes. Cool. Um, those are all of the questions that we have. Um, so Mary's contact was put up on the screen, so we do have that. Um, we do have a follow-up email that will be going out and that we can include a QR code to where you guys will be able to get access to the Alley Health website. Um, and I believe Alley Health is going to be at the Phil event that's coming up. So Rosie and Alley Health will both be sponsoring the Phil, which is going to be in just a couple weeks in Austin, Texas. Um, and we can share, um, I think the tickets are still available for that. So you can, we can share how you can get tickets and get access to that event. Mary, I think will also be there as well. 
Um, but Mary and Jenny, thank you guys for jumping on here and sharing this information. It is Mental Health Awareness Month, but outside of just this month, this is just a conversation and a topic that just doesn't happen enough. And if we can help support the employees and the teams and the salons by, you know, just bringing them another resource or a way to get some help um, or to have a conversation with somebody, not just for themselves, but for their family, um, I think that's huge. And I think it's really big for our industry to step up into that space. So thank you guys both for doing that. Absolutely, thanks for having us. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you guys, everybody have a great day. Bye.